Hi there, it's Sam from pewtles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one, it's my non-Christmas stack. I mentioned when I did a double stack a couple of weeks ago that I had a triple stack coming. This one, as you can see with butterflies all over it in this beautiful green, is not Christmassy at all. So, I wanted to make a stack, and this is a different style stack. I didn't know that I've made one before. I've got two of the boxes pre-made and they are fold over. So the boxes I've made before, I've made them years, for years I've been making stacks and I've done them with envelope punch boards, I've done lidded boxes. I like to say, I don't know that I've done fold over. I don't remember, there's so many of them. I've got two made already for you. All of the measurements for both Imperial and Metric will be on my blog, so click open the description bar below and you will go to my blog, which has got this video embedded in it and all of the instructions written underneath. Like I say, I've done two of them, partly for speed, partly because my neighbour is mowing his lawn outside and I want to, <laughs> I want to, I want to carry on filming. So this one was Shaded Spruce, Mint Macaron and Smoky Slate. And with this one I've gone Bermuda Bay, Pool Party and Grey Granite. You could do any colours. You really could with a stack like this. Um, and it's kind of down to you. Now, if I was to make you a stack, what colours would you want? Just asking for curiosity's sake. Okay, so this one is 11 by 6 inches. So this is going to be my biggest box. 11 by 6 inches, 27 and a half by 15. I will give you the measurements for this because I will feel weird doing them and not saying them. Like I say, don't worry about writing it down. It's all on my blog. So, on the long side, one, five, six and ten inches and on the short side one inch and five inches so that's two and a half twelve and a half fifteen and twenty five on the long side in centimeters and then two and a half and twelve and a half he's strimming now so each of the boxes whoops when it's finished measures up at one inch tall they're all an inch tall this one will be four inches all the way around this one is three inches and that's two inches and that's how you get your stack so you make all of them in exactly the same way and because there was a lot of cutting and gluing also partly why I made two in advance so yeah if I was to make you a stack of boxes in any colors what would you like what would your favorite colors be um, my favourite colour in the Stampin' Up! catalogue is Cherry Cobbler. But I love all of the reds. I'm a real red girl. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. Real, I like real red as well. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't mean to say that at all. Uh, but yeah, I like the reds. I'm, I'm, I'm very much a red girl. I also love green. I, do, I can't see him. I could see him just now. I thought he'd stopped. I guess he went on a tea break. <sighs> um, but yeah, Merry Merlot, gorgeous colour. Cherry Cobbler is the one that makes my heart go bitter patter. <laughs> Love that colour. When I first joined, we retired a bunch of core colours about four months later. And there was one called Riding Hood Red. So if anybody was around pre 2013, which was when that one retired. And there was another colour called Bravo Burgundy. That one went as well. Also more Mustard and River Rock, they went too, but you know, we'll gloss over that. Okay, so you'll have done all of your boxes the same way. So it would be, you know, do get them all set up in advance. And then we're gonna put glue on all six tabs. So as I've chatted along, you can see where I've been cutting down the straight of the rectangle and wedging into those little squares. And where's my paper piece? So it's the same method all the way round with all three boxes. From um, car from our cardstock, you wouldn't be able to go bigger um, because this measures this piece of cardstock requires 11 by 6 inches, and obviously the biggest we go is even 12 by 12. So you couldn't unless you were going to have half an inch gap between the, the size of each box, which would make it, I suppose it would be more like a pyramid than a stack. Well, it could work. Maybe we'll try that one next. I don't know. I still haven't made the massive stack that I planned to the other week. <laughs> Busy girl over here. Okay. So I've literally formed the whole box 
now. So I'm going to close that round. I'm going to get my other boxes, stack them on top, making sure they're all the right way round. And then I've got Bermuda Bay ribbon here. And I kind of want a, a decent length on my bow. I'm not going to worry too much about whether this is perfectly lined up. It will, I will have wiggle room. once it's all put together. So you have to tuck that tail under there. But you know what, it's been silent here for days. And I come to do my filming. Mind you, it could be worse. It could be sirens or something like that. Um, okay, maybe they were slightly too long on the tails, but we'll not worry too much. Okay, so I'm just checking. So that's stacked nicely. And now I'm going to bring in all my butterflies. So I've got Butterfly Gala and my Bermuda Bay ink and a uh, not very big scrap of Whisper White. And I'm going to go with this one. It's got quite a lot of depth. Uh, it's quite a lot of dark patches that will build up ink for me because I'm going to do my much beloved colour bleed on it with Wink of Stella. So I'm going to do this three times. I did this with Bermuda Bay the other day on a Daisy Project and I loved how it looked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in and hope that you can see it okay. Because when you move that ink around, it tints the white cardstock. Can you see that on one half versus the other? Love it. And it's just really, really pretty. It's such a lovely effect. <laughs> One wonders at the point that you think, shall I stop and refill? Shall I carry on? You know, I love my neighbours to pieces. They are so sweet and couldn't be more helpful. Um, they adore my cats. They look after my cats for me when I'm away. And they are absolutely brilliant. So I do not begrudge him at all being out there on a midweek day when most people are out of work doing the noisy stuff. He, they know I work from home. He doesn't know I'm filming today. But the other two neighbours, there's, there's four of us, four houses here. The other two, they're all at work. And it's just, so I'm here all day, every day, and so are they. Yeah, he's done it sensibly. He's not interrupting everybody. All right, let me zoom back out again. Oh, I love this camera. It doesn't go crazy when I'm trying to zoom. Oh, where's my butterfly punch? Oh, I forgot to get out. There it is. So I'm going to take... Oops. Oh, I didn't want to come out. There we go. There we go. And then I want some rhinestones, but actually a little bit of me says, why don't we use the holiday rhinestones? And I want these ones, although I'm not sure that I'm going to have enough, but... I think I might just put one in the centre of each of the big ones. Okay, I am missing a butterfly. Oh, it's there.
And that's quite nice with just one in them. Might need to order some more of those because they're lovely. Okay, so just fold it over a little bit to make your butterfly fly. And then mini glue dots on the back and decide which is your front. So this is going to be my front because, you know, that's where the, that's where the ribbon's naturally trailing. And my mini glue dots. I find if I put it on and pull it straight up, oh, well, actually that's worked. And put it on and pull it off. It doesn't always bring the glue dot off. But I find if I twist, it comes off without any problem. So let's get all of these on here then. Okay, so I'm going to have a big one up here. And then I'm going to have a big one down there. And I think another big one over there. And then that's one on each box. And then I think I'll have little one there, little one over there, where should I put that last little one, here I think, how cute is that? <laughs> 